Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to go over the story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. So there's going to be several parts to it. Number one, after I give you some ideas to keep in mind while you're watching it, we'll have a short prayer, and we'll be followed by Brittany's art project, which will then show the video and be followed with a dance party video for you that you can do follow along with today or participate with in later in the week. So we look forward to you joining us, and let's go and get started. Now, the story on Lazarus raising, being raised from the dead by Jesus is quite remarkable. One thing is, Jesus was going to have to go to Judea. A short while before, the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus. And his disciples said, no, that's really not a good call, Lord. We probably shouldn't go there. But I think it really just points out that wherever we are, no matter what dark place or dark place we are in our life, Jesus is always willing to go there for us. And the other part I'm really struck by is this. Jesus goes back to raise Lazarus, and his disciples and many of the other people there have seen the many miracles he's performed, and yet they doubt he can do it. And yet he does. So I think what that points out is this. Don't ever rule out Jesus from doing anything. The impossible is possible with Jesus in our lives. Now, if you'll please join me for a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to get with you today. We thank you for what you know for our family, our friends, and ourselves during the week. Make me be aware of two things in my life. Number one, whatever rough spots I go through in my life, whatever dark places I find myself in, you're willing to be there for me always. And the other part I always want to remember in my life is anything is possible with you. There's nothing you can't make happen in this world. Every life can be changed through you. And I ask you just thank you very much for Jesus Christ, for your pure gift of your love and your sacrifice for us. I ask you in Jesus Christ's holy name, amen. Hey guys, it's Brittany here with your weekly Sunday activity. So today, since we're learning how Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead, we're going to be making Lazarus in his tomb. So today we're going to need a paper towel, a popsicle stick, a brown piece of paper, a brad, if you don't know what this is, just ask your parents, and a white piece of paper. So first, we are going to start off by drawing the two and the rock. And they should look something like this. And then you want to cut it out. And it should look like this. Pretty cool. Next, we want to take the tomb and we want to put a white piece of paper behind it. So cut out a small piece, like a half of half sheet of the white paper. And then it should look like this. Pretty cool. Then we're going to take the rock and we're going to put it on here and we're going to stick it. I can't really do it while I'm showing, so I'll do it and then I'll show you. And it should look like this. See how the rock goes up and down? That's the tomb part. So now let's go do Lazarus. So you're going to need your popsicle stick and your paper towel. You're going to cut a little piece of paper towel out. Like, well, you guys know how to cut it out. So not too big, just medium size. About this big. So then you're going to take your popsicle stick and you're going to probably glue it here and then wrap it around. Kind of like mummy. He's a mummy. It takes a little while, but you'll get there. And then you're going to glue it at the end. And then you get what I like to do is I like to, I liked to um, put a face on him. 
so he could smile because Jesus just rose from the dead. Well, that's all the crafts we have for today, guys. Have a fantastic week. I love you guys so much. I miss you. I can't wait to see your smiling faces when all this is over. Bye.